the Air Force's F-111 Aardvark is a swept-wing, high-speed aircraft that was designed originally at the height of the Cold War to drop bombs deep behind enemy lines. But on February 14, 1986, this supersonic bomber had an unusual mission when it delivered a memorable, life-saving Valentine's Day gift, a human heart. Hello and welcome to Side History. Today we're going to talk about how an F-111 aardvark saved a patient's life by becoming the world's fastest medevac service and delivering a life-saving heart transplant. A heart transplant was desperately needed for Richard Reinhardt, a 46-year-old patient at Hartford Hospital in Connecticut. On this particular day, Hartford Hospital had received the best news for their patient. A heart had become available in Oklahoma and Richard Reinhardt was listed as a potential recipient. Quick action was needed if Richard was to have any chance at survival. Hartford Hospital staff members realized it would take too long for a chartered private jet to travel a minimum of three and a half hours by air from Oklahoma to Connecticut. The hospital's organ transplant surgical team faced a serious deadline because a human heart can only survive up to four hours outside the body. As a last desperate measure, hospital representative called Pease Air Force Base in New Hampshire, and the United States Air Force stepped in. An aerial refueling tanker and two F-111s were dispatched to Tinker Air Force Base, Oklahoma, to pick up and deliver the needed organ. The F-111A, a modified version of the legendary General Dynamics variable swing-wing F-111 fighter bomber, was used by the U.S. Air Force's Strategic Air Command from 1968 to 1991. Because of its variable wing design, the F-111 was highly maneuverable at low speeds and could achieve a speed of Mach 2.3, or 1,450 miles per hour. Two F-111s were initially scheduled to fly a training mission to Norfolk when they were reassigned to the new destination in Oklahoma. The Air Force assigned two F-111s as a precautionary measure in case one of the aircraft experienced mechanical problems. The two supersonic bombers hurried westward on their extraordinary mission of hope, climbing higher as their afterburners lit up the sky their wings sweeping to the rear, and their aircraft exceeding the speed of sound. The two F-111s were waiting when the medical transport teams arrived at Tinker Air Force Base. The crews of the Strategic Air Command were used to being on high alert, and these crews were used to moving quickly, but on that day, they had moved even faster. Time was the enemy now, not the Soviets. As the heart was loaded on board, the crews lifted off, an Air Force tanker met them on the way back to Connecticut. The tanker refueled the jets mid-flight as they traveled nearly 700 miles per hour. At 3 a.m., the two F-111s shot back towards the East Coast with their precious medical cargo on board. At 5 a.m., the two hypersonic fighters landed safely at Bradley International Airport in Windsor Locks, located some 1,400 miles away from Oklahoma. The heart was then safely moved into an awaiting ambulance. Richard Reinhardt received his life-saving procedure at Hartford Hospital, and thus the mission and operation were a complete success. The KC-135 and F-111 crews were awarded the Air Force Achievement Medal for their efforts during this life-saving mission. Despite how incredible this mission was, in many ways it is another instance in which the Air Force and the U.S. military have used their resources to aid civilians in emergencies. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please feel free to leave a comment below and don't forget to like and subscribe. It really does help the channel out.